Well, I'm reshooting this um, because the other one didn't quite work out the way it should have done. Uh, yeah. What I wanted to say, um, it's really annoyed me now. Um, that bitch, Caitlyn Jenner, making out that, um, Ellen DeGeneres, of all people, um, curbed or something or other about her views on gay marriage or whatever and it's like, no honey you did that yourself you didn't need any help you are not one of the girls you keep claiming you fucking are you sure as hell ain't um and you know we paved the way you didn't all you did was flush your freaking money about and hope for the best and now you flipped the coin or whatever you want to call it and now you're saying that um you're for gay marriage so you can't have it both ways darling i don't care what your checks or bank accounts say you are not part of us you never will be you never have been all you've done is basically show what a pile of crap you are you know, and not only that, but you're not one of us. If anything, you're just some crap drag queen. That's all you are. So, the sooner you accept that and get over it, the better we'll all be knowing that, the truth. Because with you coming out with all this garbage and stuff it just makes you look pathetic it really does and you know you've been so long and far up your boyfriend Donald Trump you can't see the wood for the trees or anything you're about as shitty as your entire family is. And I don't care who knows about it. Because you had your say and way for way too long. And it's about time that you got to take it down a peg. Or several. Because it ain't going to be two that needs it. Um... It just sort of, it's mind blowing. And on a bit of a lighter note, <laughs> I know that was just me flipping out and ranting, but it needs to happen. Uh, this is about the Stonewall film. Um. I know a lot of the girls and the boys have been boycotting it and against it because it's whitewashed and all that sort of stuff. But I think you really need to understand it fully. Um, because I've watched the interviews with both um, Johnny Beauchamp and Jeremy Irvine um, who are talking about it and people have been freaking out of the trailer I sort of understood it but I have been watched the film several times um, I've realised that people have got it all wrong and here's why um the saying that um, when J 
Jeremy Irvine's character Danny throws the brick through the window, there's a lot of speculation saying that started the riot. No, it didn't. Um, he's throwing that brick essentially because he's just caught the man he's fallen in love with basically with his tongue down another guy's throat and he's really hurt by that um, because he obviously thought that this guy meant the world to him and and all and all sorts of stuff and to see that happening um, he sort of needs an outlet so when <sighs> Um, the boyfriend turns around and tells him that um, not to be like everybody else and whatnot. Um, he's basically saying it's the only way I've got to be. So with him throwing that brick, he let he's lashing out. He's letting out all his anger that you know built up to seeing his boyfriend kissing that bloke um had nothing to do with the riot at all um the riot of course was started as we know um by both Sylvia Riviera and Marsh B. Johnson um, but it only kicked off because the lesbian was fighting the police and was being thrown in and out of the police car and she was kicking off and asking people to you know help her and not just stand back and watch that's how it all happened I can understand where everybody else was coming from um, with what they thought was actually going on but I've actually listened and watched the interviews and it's worth taking note because um, you know it's not what you think it is but you know it's worth educating yourself and seeing things fully and yes maybe Marsha P. Johnson isn't properly portrayed or whatever um, but she's still in the film and Sylvia Riviera sort of is but is loosely portrayed in the character Ray or Ramona by um, Johnny Beauchamp so that's basically what it all essentially is when you think about it um, that's just my viewpoint on it um, it would be interesting to know what yours is so just <laughs> I don't know put it forward then and hopefully we can probably exchange viewpoints or something okay that was basically all I wanted to say um, apart from oh yeah um, I am finally getting in touch with the GIC regarding all this um, I never thought it was going to be possible for me to actually go forward with it but considering at the stage of my life where I am now I know that I can do it and I'm just sort of putting myself forward and hopefully I'll be getting somewhere um, it's a, a slow but sure transition and what have you but it's, it's getting there is happening you know so just putting that out there and um hoping for the best okay love you all bye